It's something few Aussie teenagers get to experience, visiting a place like Rwanda and seeing how kids here live. Lucinda was in Africa as a youth ambassador for World Vision. 20 years ago there was a genocide and now Rwanda is a country that's recovering from that but is quite peaceful, um, but the main issue now is extreme poverty and hunger. But it's not the only country affected by poverty. There are around a billion kids in the world living on less than $2.50 a day. That means every second child is living in poverty. And every day, 22,000 of them die. In Rwanda, I saw poverty firsthand, the ugliness of it, the smell of it. And poverty is something for children. It takes away their childhood. Back in Australia, kids like Lucinda are trying to do something about it. This weekend, 300,000 Aussie teens will take part in the World Vision 40-hour famine. Australians can give up something that they love for 40 hours and raise awareness and money, and those funds go to people living in extreme poverty. Students at Henley High are trying to get their whole school involved to raise $6,000. We don't realise that what we have is what other people are missing out on, and I think that if we can raise awareness for 40 hour famine, then people will realise that and won't take it for granted. They see it as a way of making a difference to a massive global problem. Realising that we do have a voice, we have an impact, and yes, I think we can all do things if we work together.